what should we put in the description field of our YouTube videos? I would love for you to comment below if you'd like on any any YouTube creator you've seen that whose descriptions in their videos you particularly like. Is there some information in there that you always find helpful? Are there links? Um, so feel free to comment below and you can you know give us tag them you know to an ad symbol and put their put their YouTube uh, account name or give us a link to their YouTube particular YouTube video where you liked what their description. So let me just go ahead and give you my my advice on that. Um, for the YouTube algorithm, the most important thing is for your YouTube your, your video viewer to continue viewing another one of the YouTube videos. I mean that's if we're playing the algorithmic game when we want the algorithm to surface more of our videos, that's essentially the game we're playing is did your the did the viewer of your video go on to watch another video of yours? And so this is why a lot of YouTube creators put links to their most relevant videos in the description. And also they do it in the end cards of the video. That's a separate topic. But in the description of the video, uh, essentially, if you could uh, put, okay, if you if you love this video or, or, you know, even better is if you could literally mention, if you plan ahead, you could mention another of the YouTube videos in your video itself. And you could say, look in the description below for the link to that. And so if enough of the viewers, enough is relative because, um, it's really by percentage, but nobody knows what that percentage is because YouTube keeps that algorithm, those secrets under lock and key. But essentially, if more of your of, of the viewers of that video click on another video to watch afterwards and they watch quite a bit of that one, then YouTube will start connecting these two videos. You see what I mean? YouTube will say, hey, people who watch video A enjoyed watching video B afterwards because we noticed they did that. They watched video A and then they watched video B and they actually, they didn't click away from video B very quickly. They continued watching video B to a pretty good percentage of, of that video. So essentially what I'm saying is if you can put a link to a relevant video uh, of yours or a relevant playlist, a YouTube playlist of yours, that would probably be uh, a smart thing to do for the algorithm. Besides the algorithm, I mean, that's probably what most of you uh, care about who ask this question, but besides the algorithm, then the question is what pleases your viewer to have in the description of the video? Then th that's, that's up to you. I think what you, what, in fact, you may want to ask your viewers, hey, you all, in fact, I'm asking all of you because you're viewing this YouTube video right now, what would you like to see in the description of my videos? I would love for you to comment below if you'd like to let me know just from your experience watching my videos, what do you want to see in the, in the bottom of my videos? What I tend to do, uh, you'll probably notice, well, if you go to my YouTube videos, you will notice what I put in the description of the videos. And I usually have a section that is consistently the same in every video, or at least whenever I change it, then going forward for the next hundred videos, it's the same thing. And I, what I put there is basically the link to the my, my best of YouTube videos playlist. I also put the link to my uh, email newsletter if they want to subscribe and my Instagram account, because my Instagram account has other shorter videos that maybe are more watchable. And uh, if people go to my Instagram account, the nice thing is, if you go to my Instagram account and you're logged in Instagram, Instagram will automatically uh, tag you, I guess, quote unquote, not tag you, but it, it, it'll, it'll, um, it'll make it so that I can easily run Instagram ads to you in the future, because you're going to be part of my warm audience. Now, the fact that you visited my Instagram account, even if you did nothing, just visit it while you're logged in, then in the future, I can run ads to you more easily, meaning I want to show you my content and I have to pay money to, to, to have it show to you reliably. So, um, so long story short, um, uh, try to get your video viewer to watch other YouTube videos of yours, whether through a particular link to a video or a playlist. Um, if you can possibly do that, if not, then at least give them a link to uh, your website, etc. Now, some people might say, well, George, um, what about chapters? That's a separate topic. But yes, if you're if, if you uh, bother to put the timestamps of certain sections of your videos in the description, it creates YouTube video chapters automatically. As long as you start that with zero colon zero zero, 
and then whatever word you want, let's say intro, and then, you know, zero colon one or uh, zero, uh, one colon three zero, you know, then you start on a different topic or whatever. And as long as you put the timestamps, it'll automatically create uh, chapters. That's a separate thing. But but that's also popular to put in, in YouTube descriptions. I'm typically too lazy to do that. So, but, you know, on my most popular videos, I try to remember to, to, to do that because it does help the Google search engine better. Um, besides that, I think people generally uh, are pleased to see a summary, uh, an interesting summary of what the video is so they can decide whether they want to keep watching or some follow-up information that was mentioned in the video. Um, so I hope this helps mainly, you know, try to learn from other YouTube creators that you appreciate, look at their descriptions. What do you appreciate about that? And then consider doing that in yours as well. All right, just to summarize, uh, what are the minimum items to put in your YouTube video description? A link to another relevant YouTube video, number one, and or a link to a relevant YouTube playlist that you've created that is a bunch of your own videos, number two. Number three is a link to your website. Number four is a link to your other social media, uh, your main other social media, let's say feature one. Could, people sometimes put multiple ones. And that's There can be an overwhelm, obviously, at some point, maybe even three links is overwhelming, right? It, it depends on your, your viewer and what they appreciate. So essentially links that are relevant and th that are more likely to be clicked on. And then, uh, you know, timestamps, number four, timestamps, if possible. That means you have to be, go and watch your video back and go, okay, at zero, you have to start with 0.00. .00. Um, okay, uh, well, I, I, let me just show you real quick since I already started talking about it. Let me Let me show you what I mean. So when you're when you're doing this, um, uh, I'm just going to randomly do uh, one of my recent videos. When 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 you're doing this, um, to, when you when you wanting to create YouTube chapters, you have you have to start with this, and it doesn't matter what word you put. Intro, start. Uh, here's where I talk. I introduce my my friend or whatever, whatever, whatever. It, just a few words. You have to start there then that starts creating the chapters. When you click save, it'll automatically create it. And then, you know, zero, four, five. Um, uh, uh, now, uh, what's confusing to me is whether or not, you know, if the video is more than one hour long, most videos are less than one hour. So this should, this should signify 45 seconds. You can play with this. You can always change these things, blah, blah, blah. You know, this happened, or this is a chapter on that, you know, two, uh, 36 is when I started talking about that and et cetera. So as long as you do that, in fact, let me show you right now, I'm going to click save changes. And now if you go watch the YouTube video, um, you will see, see, you see the chapters already. You know, and at this point, the, I, 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 at 45 seconds, I started the next chapter. And at two minutes and 36, I started the next chapter. And then the rest of the video is just that one chapter. So you can always go and edit your own video and um, change change those things. I'm just going to get rid of that. And once I get rid of that, the, the video now uh, no longer has those chapters when people view it. So anyway, uh, you know, the main thing is links relevant, most relevant links, try not to give people like 18 links, just like one to three links, you know, be, be merciful on your viewer and, and they're overwhelmed and um, relevant information that makes people go, wow. basically the, you know, the good golden rules, what creates the most gratitude for your viewer? Golden rule, right? Like, oh my God, I'm so grateful that you put that information in the description because I was wondering about that or yes, it's good to see that written out or whatever it is. So hope that helps.